In this video, we're gonna talk about tags. We touched on them briefly on the last video where we imported contacts, but I wanna show you a little bit more about tags. First of all, you can add tags in multiple different areas. If you just want to simply add a tag, uh, you would just go to settings and click tags. And cl now, the reason for tags is, uh, well, there are multiple reasons. You can use them to trigger actions. You can use them to identify different groups, things like that. So let's add a new tag. And then let's call this tag Facebook lead. And then let's add another tag and we'll call it um, So we just added these two tags. Now I'm gonna show you how you can add tags to people. So we're gonna go back to contacts. Now let's say that you um, have workflows and things that are happening, Facebook leads coming in. Uh, you can add in your workflows, which we're gonna get into later, to add someone, add a tag to someone during the workflow. This way you can identify that group of people. If you wanna just add a tag in a simple way. You can just click someone and you can scroll down here and tag, you wanna add tags. So we're gonna say that this is a Facebook lead and, um, and then that's it. And there it is. Now let's say you wanna add tags to a whole bunch of people in a bulk manner. You could select everyone here, say, oh, all these people, maybe like ah, everybody except this person, this one and this one, we don't want them to get it, but we want everyone else to get it. They took advantage of our promo opt-in, so add tag. So you can add tag in a bulk manner. You can also remove tag in a bulk manner. So we're gonna say that this is the promo opt-in. And we're gonna say the ta uh, action is adding tag promo opt-in. And so now it's gonna create that bulk action and it's gonna add tag to all those people. The cool thing about tags is you can filter by tags. Now filter by everybody that has a tag a promo, right? So we're gonna say the tag um, is any of promo opt-in. And as you can see, it's gonna select the 17 people that we tagged with that. So I'm gonna save this as a smart list and I'm gonna name it promo opt-in. And so now as you see, we have a smart list right here. So right here, this is all everyone, this is all of our contacts, all 53 of them. But then promo opt-in, we have a total of 17. And those are all the people that were tagged with that. With smart lists, you can use anything to uh, filter that list. It doesn't have to be tags. Let's say that you were looking at appointments. So if you wanted to see uh, who is showed for the appointments or no show, you could have uh, columns for those. So you could see those. It really depends on what the niche is and what your needs are. Our SaaS niche is chiropractic. And so we have tabs for active patients and inactive patients. This way, our client doctors, when they want to message all the patients, maybe let's say it's a, uh, a snow day and they're not going to be in that day. Well, they might have a 3,000 patient contact database, but only like 400 of them are like active patients. So they don't want to send a text to all 3,000. They would send it just to the people in that smart list, their active patients. So similarly, you could say, oh, I just want to text everyone, uh, message everyone the promo opt-in. You would just select the promo opt-in, you would select all of those people, and then you could send them an SMS. You could also um, like type it in here, send an SMS. You could also um, send an email if you wanted to, or you could also send them to a workflow. And uh, you would choose which workflow that you want to send them to for any particular thing related to that promo. Anyway, I uh, hope that helps. Smart lists are very um, easy to do, and they're a, a crucial part of the system in terms of segmenting and talking to different groups of people. And so, yep, yeah, hopefully you use tags 
and use SmartList to keep your communications and your contacts organized.